those tickets. Last <laughs> I heard, last I heard, the plane is not. There's not a lot of. There's not a lot of um, away tickets available. Yeah, of course that would be yeah. right. Nah, but some some of the Warriors supporters or Warriors fans are actually using the Broncos code. <laughs> to, to, to <laughs> to Very nice. Nice. Yeah, how about, how about someone was like, just use the Broncos. I just saw it on Facebook before. Um, someone went on there to try and buy five five tickets, but yeah. um, it didn't let him. So he went back on and used the Broncos code and he cracked five tickets. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. It's been put and out there. Everyone knows what's up now. So hopefully, hopefully we see a huge Warriors fan base here. And he, and so he was too. a Warriors supporter. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope so too, cuz because it's a fifty thousand seat stadium. Um be cool if we got, you know, a quarter. A quarter. Mm. I know it's probably a bit, a bit of an ask, but maybe, I don't know, 15,000, 20,000. We're always pretty loud over there. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> but, mate, if we play, if we replicate this game, yeah. um, if we replicate this game on Saturday, then, yeah. We've got a good chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh. And even watching on the reviews, um, uh, the defense. Oh, bro, the Sorry. defense, man. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was making their tackles and was just yep. like, bro. Yep. Um, that Ooh. really is the difference, eh? They, they just were marking up um, the back line, the left edge, you know, that, that, that dodgy bunch. <laughs> mm. They were, um, they, no, nah, they were, they were solid on D, bro. Mm. Definitely. Like we've been talking for a while that the Warriors haven't hit their peak yet, you know. Well, yeah. fuck, I'm thinking they're getting pretty close now. I mean, that was yeah, an bro. amazing game. Knights, point, you yeah. know, all credit to the Knights. They've won ten in a row, you know. So mm-hmm. it's not like we're taking on chumps. Yeah, no. but it was like, and you called it, bro. That they, they, yep. they'd spent themselves in the Canberra game. Yeah, they played um, the grand final the week before, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. You called and it, bro. They were, yeah, like it was just, it was just hard case. They and like. Um, so we we like hanging out with Nick at the Lily Bar, Lily World. Yep. Sorry, um, some Knights players came out like half an hour after the game, mm, and then Leo Thompson, Leo Thompson, and a few of the boys walked past. But he's a big unit, man. Mm. Um, but but walked up to him, kind of shook his hands, and mm. you know, so he played a good game, bro. And um, yep. but yeah, 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 they were, yeah, no, I think they were they were spent, bro, and and we exposed them for it. So. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, but... none of our players miss more than three tackles. Seriously? Mm. Yeah, not one of our players miss more than... Look at look at Mons Montoya. He got 100% tackle. Mm. Yeah, Derek Mons. Yeah. Yes, I love Montoya. Yeah, yeah, bro. You were, you were his motivation, Tans. Yeah, I think so, bro. Me and yeah. my mom... He rang, he rang me off before the viewers out there just so you know that he rang me after trading on Wednesday. <laughs> and he had a bit of a, a yarn about it. Offered him nice. a nice I offered him a contract for the Pawnee Pirates, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, nice. he's not new, he's not born in New Zealand, so I was like, sorry, sorry, Kim. Yeah, sorry, bro, you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, but, uh, I, I was just wrapped. I'm wrapped for mm. Montoya and Pompey was mate. Seriously, mm-hmm. that was yeah. his best game of the season. But I'm happy for that left edge because they just need to know what they're capable of. Mm. Yep. You know, like, yep, I, I said some shit last week, which I don't take back in all honesty. But yeah. Um, yeah. what I should have said and what, what I did say on our group chat is that what I should have said was he's better than that. You know, like, you did, you did say, what capable yeah. of. you know, he's way better than that. So, um, Let's just hope they go there on Saturday and and replicate what they. Because man, I'm still watching the game. It's only the last two minutes to go, but <laughs> oh, this is the third time I've watched it. But their ruck speed was insane, man. Their defense. Mm. I mean, you know, fuck, Sorrow scored a try. My yeah. God! Not only did he score a try, he overcalled Walker, went left. No way he was passing. He was, and, and, and like this has happened a couple of times where bloody um, 
Mitchie's been first receiver. Mm-hmm. There was no way he was getting that ball. <laughs> hey, he looked left and went, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not getting nothing. Yeah. Right. But he, yeah, he over. Sorry, bro? Uh, Kalen Ponga, for example, fell for it. They thought he was going to be passing there, but mm. just, oh, yeah, I, I think, napping. yeah, I think KP, to be fair, bro, KP was fucked. And he just yeah. finished dropping the ball and just, yeah, yeah it was just like, bro. I, just again, making the rest of his opportunities. Mm. Yeah. I think, that's even, why Dom, I think that's why Dom Young keep coming in yeah. field to mm. get a carry because there was just no action down, you know, out on the edges. To, to, to be fair, they were starting their they were starting their sets on their team. You don't like no cuz like yeah. you know, it was like mm. it was they, horrible. It was horrible for them down there. Yeah. What and we they, they were... for, what we done to them is what Panthers done to us when we were <laughs> like, yeah. in yep. and and yep. we were starting on our thirty. You know, like mm. I mean, there was a one seat there where they only made fourteen meters. Yeah. 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 They just they were they were struggling. Oh, they were struggling. Yeah. Yeah. But um, like with Brisbane, like Reese Walsh has got the biggest error count in the comp, so he's mm. up, he's got forty eight errors, I think, just this season. But wow. that's unsurprising. Right. He was he was like that for us. Yeah, yeah. like you know, for all his for all his flashiness, um, yep. he was a speed bump um on defense. You know, guys would just run straight run forward. Over. It was just like yeah, I was like, bro, really? His tackle um, efficiency is only sixty eight percent too. So. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There was some ugly arguments today on Instagram. No, I swear about this. Case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that some guys are just real ugly, eh? and I, I had to leave because I was getting angry. I was just like, "Oh man, I'll, I'll <laughs> are these are these are these the are these the haters towns? Did you yeah, come man, across some haters? Yeah. The, the a, a bit of salty. Bro, you're lucky that it's not Kanohi Kipa Kanohi right now. <laughs> yeah, bro, you wouldn't be saying that. You wouldn't be saying that. Um, yeah. So yeah. I, I was like, oh, man, I'm getting real angry, eh? So I, I just had to gap it out of there. I think nice. um, like I told you I told you guys today I need to address something. But after I had my business meeting, I was like, you know, I just calm down. Um, but I think we need to address something. There's, there's, there's a whole bunch of people out there. They've got like a million texts all lined up ready to go for when we lose. Right, they've got mm. all these posts lined up for the, all these salty ass fans saying, "I told you so." You guys yeah. are this, you guys are that. But we've been waiting, guys. You know, we're in the we're in the we're in the preliminary mm. final. We've yeah. been waiting thirty three weeks or thirty two weeks or something mm. for you guys to yeah. pipe up. But um, Hard. no, I know there's a lot of people out there that are that are hating on us and they can't wait. They just can't wait for us to to stumble. But I just for say the to bubble them, to burst for the hey. bubble to burst. But I, I, I'll tell you something: hey. the bubble's not bursting. Yeah. Yeah, well, bro. W- whatever happens in these next two weeks, the bubble's not bursting. This is this mm. is a movement. Mm. It's mm. hard. Okay, so I just got a Absolutely. someone just popped up on my Facebook from one is it the one New Zealand Warriors supporters page, right. and someone has said that according to Queensland News, <clears throat> um, it's going to be a eighty twenty, um, like by fans in our favour. I find that wow, wow, yeah, nah. But that's apparently that's, on the, that's just been shared on the Queensland news. Whether or not that happens, I don't know. That's got to be yeah. fake news. There has to be yeah, a yeah, troll. No, I think it's I think it's <clears> the <throat> fella, the main fella on 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 that page, the uh, creator. Who, who, his his name's not Sioni. No, bro, this guy. He was even on Instagram today too. <laughs> I see one of his comments. I was like, oh, not this fella with the jet. Copy, son, copy. Oh, he got me good, bro. <laughs> He got you real good. He got you yeah. real good. But shout out to, you know, shout out to the brother Sionet. I hope you're okay. I hope everything's okay and everything. But mm. apparently now there's a boat. Apparently <laughs> now there's a boat going. So I went from went from a jet, a jet plane, and now a boat. Bro, he shared a photo on Facebook after I saw your guys' comments come up or on in our group chat. He shared a photo of these fellas on a dinghy. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> on a dinghy, and he was like, yeah. "Yes, we're on our way. We're on our way to um, but we have to sail around the North Island first I was like, "Oh, this cunt's just taking the piss." Oh, so, no. see you in five days. Sick. <laughs> just having yeah. a bit of fun. Just yeah. having a bit of fun. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I tell you what, you know, like every day coming up to the next game, I think 
there's going to be some things coming up, you know, like what mm. there's going to be 80. Are you saying times that that news report or whoever's commented said there's, there's, there's an 80, 20 split split of Waz fans versus Queensland um, versus Broncos fans. Is that what you're saying? Yep. <sighs> yep. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I love it, but I don't believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, um, I, I, oh, I'd believe go. it if it was like 60 40. Mm. I'll believe uh, it if it was, yeah, I, yeah, I believe that. It's on the one New Zealand Warriors supporters group.com and it's from a top contributor. Just saw a clip from Queensland News, seems projected to be 80 20 in our favour in the stands. Going to be a massive scrap for tickets. All right. oh, I reckon Koto, it's bullshit. Koto, yeah. Kitakanga, all you guys yeah. listening, can you can you confirm this? Can you? Mm. Plug the plug the link in the in the comments, please, because it just just sounds like fake news. Someone someone being a troll. Yeah. Yeah, can someone confirm? I hope it's true. That'll be mean. But um, are they just trying to drum up some more Broncos fans at the game? Go the Broncos, <laughs> make some noise. <laughs> yeah, I reckon, bro. Oh, I think um, we still hear our fans anyway, whether or not there's fifty, you know, thirty thousand Broncos yeah. supporters. You know, you'll still hear our. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and like they, they, they do. They get the uh, like our Warriors fans in Aussie, wherever mm. they're playing, they they've, they've been loud and proud this year. Yeah. Um, but like the weekend, Saturday, Saturday night's game. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Yeah, it was. No, like, was it guys? It was unreal. It was unreal. It was. I never like, experienced. I never experienced that in New Zealand. Same. Before. Nice. <laughs> yeah. nothing, even, yeah. nothing even comes close. Yeah, like the, the the singing, the chanting, the cheering, the Mexican wave. It, it, at one stage, it was almost like I think it might have been the twenty minute mark in the second half. It was like mm. people stop stop watching the game because we mm. we had it, we had it in the bag, and it, and it just turned into this massive party. And I was just mm. like, holy shit, man! Um, but the crowd were just. Yeah, the, it just went off, man. It was a, the, like the atmosphere was electric. Um, but like Nick and I got to the got to the uh, Lily World. Um, must be a good hour and a half, if not more. Shout and, out Lily World. And, yeah, yeah, mean setup. Um, but but fans were just, even just sitting around drinking and you know socialising, catching up, and all the rest of it. But they um, but everyone could feel it, man. Everyone was feeling the vibe, and it was just slowly building, slowly building, and then. Yeah, we were into it, man. It was, um, you've got it some was nice a good feeling. What's it? Photos on Instagram of um Zane from Warrior Holic and the Waz Up guy and you guys. There's quite a few of oh, them. Oh, nice. On, on social media, yes, yeah, so I had to comment. I was like, oh, man, that's just me. Yeah, I'm, I'm useless at that sort of stuff because, like, because Mark mm-hmm. Tukey, Kevin Campion were there, and it's like, okay. And, because I'll just turn into a big fangirl and it's just like, yeah. just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I'm awesome. not rocking up to them. Yeah, but to even seeing them, you know, it's just like, oh, this is fucking mean, bro. Yeah, but, um, but just a, just a vibe. Everyone's vibe. Everyone's, and, and it was a good vibe, you know. Um, oh. and, and even afterwards, man, you know, the interviews Nick was doing, um, <laughs> everyone's just, everyone's happy. Everyone yeah. was happy as. Cloud nine. <laughs> No, I yeah, bro. Got a, I even got emotional, like um, when they ran out of the sheds, and just the just <clears throat> the crowd, man. I was just like, damn, that just. I got a bit teary eyed, to be honest. Uh-huh. Like, nice, oh, so nice. Cool. Yeah. Did it? Um, cool. Did it look different? Uh, because it's 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 an NRL organised event now. Did it look different? Mm. And if if it did look different at home, in what way? No, mm. the only thing I was the blackout. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't but it was too early for that anyway, right? Mm. Yeah, it was still light. It was still yeah. light when it kicked off. So yeah. But no, other than that, same the, old. The crowd just took it to a whole nother level away. Like oh like, yeah, it was just insane. I was like, wow, man, and they just carried on for that full eighty minutes. Yeah. Well, could... <laughs> yeah, they kind of shot themselves in the foot, eh? Letting us in, in the first four minutes. Like <laughs> you know, I think, man, Bradman best the. The game before, everyone's been talking about Bradman Best, and he mm. just couldn't get chance. He just didn't. I think he got one hand on him, and then I was just like, <laughs> "Oh, that's four minutes, yeah. boys!" Yeah. And then and it was then good was, night. And then it was yeah. a struggle. Actually, after that. I, I think it was two minutes, bro. That first, oh, wow. yeah, first try. A minute yeah. and a half. Yeah, yeah. and I was oh, like, really? "What the fuck?" 
What? Yeah. So, you know, it was like, bro, the speed well, they, of the, just their setup, and I was just like, holy. They didn't even complete a set for the first 15 minutes. 15, 15 minutes, minutes, yeah. yeah. Very, I don't know. Went, oh, here goes this guy from Instagram again. Fucking fuck off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, you're a popular lady now, Tans, eh? You're like, a, you're like I'll, an I'll international... Be, I will fight guys to the death if I have to. It's just like, no, nah, bro, get, get away. Just, <laughs> well, I'm not going to reply. You but, don't want um, any of the smoke. You don't want the smoke of Tans. Yeah, very good. <laughs> but... Oh, shit, what was I chew them up. What is it? Chew them up. Spit them out, girl. Hey, yeah. put them in their place. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it. Yeah, but just I. In all honesty, I was not expecting that though. But mm-hmm. watching the game, I was like, bro, did you did you just plan this? Like, did you? Just, you know, plan to kind of like ease back off. You know, and then just because they came out, and I'm just like, what? What discussions did they have in the sheds mm. between themselves mm. to come out and emulate that game? Because I was not expecting that. I was really scared of their backs versus mm. ours. But, mm. bro, they just didn't even have a and, fucking chance to get out at all. Yeah, yeah. but, with, but with good reason too, you know, when you think about the just the performances, even over the last month, um, it's just been like, yeah, we, we were all feeling it because like our... our so um, Monday and I caught it all last week. Mm. I was listening to some some other podcasts through the week, and um, <laughs> it was quite hard case because I just thought they, um, you know, e- everyone it was almost like the same vibe. Everyone was kind of feeling a bit down about it, and, and just the mm-hmm. whole bit of a the burst of bubble, whatever. But but then when the boy, the way the boys came out um, on Saturday and just done a number on them, and I was just like, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, we'd all been waiting. We'd all been waiting for this this type of game to kick off. Yep. And, and I mean, for, for myself, I was thinking they're going to play like that two months ago, build up to it, come to playoffs, and we'll just smash ruin. So <laughs> yeah, but the but the just how it all rolled out. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. No, it was me. It was me. Is that tackle on uh, Don Young from Montoya? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, the whole stadium just right. erupted, man, when he done that. Yeah, because he folded him. But yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone was just like, "Too much, bro." Yeah, and and, and like, because Nick and I were talking about it. Montoya's like just the confidence that put yeah. at him. Yeah, and, I then, and then he, he was just sky high for the rest of the game. He was. Yeah, yeah. he does come across as a confidence player, right? Mm. Yeah, hard, bro. Um, and he and he did. He stepped up, man. Um, the defense. Yeah, the the, the 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 defensive side of it was just like it was just on point. It was on point yeah. all night, you know, and, and it was relentless. Um, you know, and and um and the night just relentless is yeah. the word. It was relentless. Yeah. Yeah, it's, nice, it's nice to be on the other side of, of yeah. giving giving yeah. out the relentlessness instead of like the one taking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 because we played quite a lot down that left side, you know. And because our left, you know, like Pompey and Montoya got quite a bit of ball on Saturday night too, which is awesome because you got to change up your plays a bit, eh? Like, well, not change it up, but just try different, mm. you know, get, well, no, should I say get all your players involved? Where you don't want to be, oh, yeah. you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. something, you know, shit, yeah, so was great, was awesome, man. I, I was just in hysterics, so I was, I couldn't believe it. Yep. Was no, it was it was a good night and, and that whole um setting us up for next week. Yeah. The um we we play like we did on Saturday night and I really think we we're gonna push the Broncos if not kind of mm. take it, you know. Yeah. And I, I think I think the way the Warriors are playing, they'll even they'll cancel out that whole um home advantage because home advantage mm-hmm. is big, you know, you only have to look mm-hmm. at the nights the week before. Mm-hmm. Um, home advantage of them for them was cranking, and and it's what got them home in the end. Um, home advantage for us, said they gone. Fuck, <laughs> you know we just the boys were just on point. Um, but at Suncorp, I think it's uh, I think we're good enough to actually cancel that out. Yeah. Um, the other thing too is like the Warriors this season are actually traveling really well. We've got a lot of away victories. Yeah. 
So yeah. he's gone, you know, we'd struggle away and dominate at home, but we're actually mm. probably just as strong away as what we are at home. Yeah. So I don't yeah, think really. the boys would be wrestled at all by having to play in Brisbane. And mm. didn't we, haven't we had an, oh, no, that was it when we played the Titans, eh? Was that played at Suncorp? Mm-hmm. What's that one? What, the yeah. Gold Coast, the Titans game was played at oh. Suncorp, and far look at the fan base here. It was played at Suncorp, wasn't yeah. it? I think so. Even yeah. the we'll Dolphins game, like, where we got smoke, obviously, but the beginning, the, the crowd was making shit tons of noise for the Warriors. Yeah. That was at Suncorp. Yeah. Uh, no, no, Titans was at Seabus. Oh, right. Seabus. Okay. Yeah. Dolphins yeah. one was at Suncorp, though. Uh, Dolphins was at yeah. Suncorp Stadium. Yep. Because yeah, that's the their home ground as well. Up. Yeah, yeah, they split it. Mm. Um, wow. oh, and Shawnee. Shawnee said that night, just the difference he made. And like Nick and yeah. I, so so Nick and I were on the embankment side, the north side of north the stadium. Side. And mm. um, and like, you know, we're watching the game. And then we've seen like the crowd uh, that was sitting on – the, the lower end of the grandstand, they all mm. kind of rushed forward. And we were both like, what's going on? Um, and it was Shawnee. Shawnee was walking um, down Shawnee past left. the end goal, coming back. Yeah. And it was like, it looked it looked like an avalanche, bro. People were mm. just moving forward, nice. cheering him on. And it was just like, damn, man. The difference this guy makes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having him there, just, it's huge, bro. Even though he plays yeah. it down, it's huge. Oh, such a different team with him in there, right? You, you yes. could hear the crowd when he was doing his lap. It was so fucking awesome to hear, right? Yeah. Love bro, they were going guy. off, bro. They were going off. Yeah. What a good guy, though, to, to you know, come off and, and acknowledge, you know, acknowledge the fans and just, and, you know, keep them involved. I just thought, they're so cool, mm. man. Very yeah. cool. And the town is like, actually, fuck that. I'm not going to the bench. I'm going to go around and, like, just yeah. acknowledge everybody. And I, I just thought that's really cool. I was listening to the sports news today, the, the, the SENZ, and they were talking about how he purposely walked to the end goal instead of just walking off the field and took mm. the long way around. Just mm. to, you know, just to fucking so acknowledge cool. the fans. But and it's just like, bro, this this kid's all class, bro. Yep. Um, yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah. But there, it, just all the little gems from Saturday night. Um, yeah, it did. It, it got to one stage where it was just like, nobody's actually watching the game. Um, mm-hmm. It was like a five-minute window. We're, we're up. We're, there's no way we're losing. And people were just celebrating. Not only were not only we were up, not only were we up, we were camped inside their half. Mm. You know, we are just camped there. So yeah. that's when the Mexican waves start going. That's when the yeah. na 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 hey 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 good <laughs> yeah. starts going. That's when all those the ones start going. The whole stadium was singing there. Was Nothing's like, going wow. their way. Nothing's going yeah. away. We're not missing any tackles. Well, that's what I, I mean. Fuck, we only, in that first half, we only missed four tackles. Four yeah. tackles. And yeah. all up throughout the game, I think it was 20 something, but, um, and 10 errors. But I think a couple of those, I think Marcelo did it twice, maybe, where he went for the intercept, but not through him. Might have even been once. I don't know. But, I wasn't even upset about that. My opinion on that was, bro, you know, good on you because at least you're mm. trying to you're mm. trying to dominate and stop. And that was my opinion on it. If it went yeah. haywire, then I probably would have. Oh, he, 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 different, but... Yeah, he definitely killed it because had, mm. had he not done that, they they, they had the overlap. You know, yeah. So, yeah, it was the right play. Yeah, yeah heck yeah. And to Mighty getting penalised twice was it? for lying in the tackle and I was like bro that's awesome because you're just dominating you know you're just mm-hmm. you know letting people know they you the boss and so you know <laughs> go for it but by then I think we're only up 16-4 and I was just like bro we need to score first man in the second half mm-hmm. and they did and I was real nervous but then after that man it was just fuck, that was it that's all she wrote for the night man yeah. yeah oh the the boys definitely just dropped the clutch and kicked it into fucking oh, fourth, fifth gear and, and they were gone. Mm-hmm. You know, they just they just smoked them. And mm-hmm. and sadly the, the the nights, yeah, they were trying. They were trying to get into it. Um oh, they, they did get into a bit of an arm wrestle. Yeah. They but we bad. we were just too much. Mm. KP was trying. Um uh Ken and Pong was trying, you could see eh? mm. you yeah could see he was trying. Yeah. Um but yeah just had nothing. What about after the game tie did you just kind of like cruise straight away or is oh. he on? No, he's not on. In my case, his mic <laughs> is a bit is... off. 
Where's the bro at? The bro's in. No, all good, bro. Can you hear me? I can hear you, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm in the back. <laughs> Killed everyone. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm over here just listening to you all. <laughs> all right, nah, me, bro. Uh, that was cool after the game. Um, it's so funny, eh? like just wherever we went, you know, no one would count down from three and everyone was up the wires. It was, it was a different, it was a mean atmosphere, <laughs> but we were stuck yeah. in traffic for a while. So it was just yep. uh, up the wires, every mm. person driving past, really. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. But what a game, yeah, it was yeah, just to kind of carry on with the thoughts. Um, it's fortunate to, yeah, be kind of close to the, the field on the, in the weekend. And oh man, it was, it was so it was so awesome. You guys have really explained how awesome it was. Um, yeah, the crowd was feeling it i think for me that was probably in terms of club footy mm. uh you know i've never seen anything like that um I, I would say the only game i've seen in new zealand that was bigger than that was the tonga versus england game um but besides oh. that oh. you know nothing <laughs> nothing competes so yeah mm. now nah, i love it love what you guys are talking about and yeah i'll chime in where i can <laughs> yeah now nah, all good bro you just oh. reminded me bro because when we were driving up me and my boy we went there was like two checkpoints just uh just the coppers checking for Drink drivers, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, both of them, we were both like, up the ones. And all the, and all the cops are like, yeah, up the ones, bro, up the ones. <laughs> <laughs> and and like cool. every town we're driving through, it's just like, mate, every, every, you know, so even well outside of Auckland, um, mm-hmm. driving up the line, it was just like, man, people were feeling it, man. You know, oh, it's just like, yeah, yeah, it was, bro. Did you it see our John show when old Madge was on there? <laughs> Oh, with SJ. Oh, awkward moment. <laughs> <laughs> nah. hey, that that was funny, funny, bro. That was funny, man. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, Sean, we'll have a, you know, give you a call after, and oh, SJ's reaction was just fucking yeah. hard case, man. He, he was oh, like, oh, man, there he is. Man. Yeah, man, was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that time we went silent, it looked like it is he just like, trying to go, like, should I say something that I really want to say? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That was, that was, that was, was interesting. I was at the end, but I was like, oh, awkward silence, because he's trying to say nothing <laughs> after that. Yeah. Laugh please, make up, guys, was, please make up after the Warriors. Yeah. We want to see the Kiwi jersey, Johnson. Please make up. Yeah, yeah, true <laughs> that. But there was it delayed. Um, so when the commentators were talking, because it was like a two, and what do we need? Yeah. Three second delay before Sean yeah. would answer. So yeah, and I was wondering, so is he I. is he just kind of yeah, is he, is he just kind of holding back, or is he actually just trying to make him make him wait, make Madge wait for him? Because <laughs> he was well, uh, he was giving him shit, bro. I'll I'll be the first to admit, I actually don't I actually don't want him in the Kiwis jersey. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I don't want him in the Kiwis jersey. Rest I want him to up. give up. I want we, him to we give do up. have good hopes. We I want him to give up hubs. international rugby, in, uh, international, mm. and um, see out see out his maybe maybe his last year, maybe his last two years. But I want to I want to see him. Yeah, rest up. Yep. Greedy Warriors fans. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it is that is what it is, bro. It's that is what it is. Really, I look at the future. Whether he's going to be fit enough to keep on playing, I'd rather just have him say, "Nah, screw your, screw your internationals, cuz," and someone else will come through. Yeah. Kerry's got the depth. Hmm? Kerry's got the depth. They don't need him, and I agree. I think yeah, he's yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to wrap yeah. him up. But he's had such a long season, such an amazing season. It's Get been intense. It's been intense, yeah. right? Yeah. It's an intense season. So, yeah, I'd rather him just chill out. Give give the number seven jersey to fucking. I don't really care. Yeah, Jerome Hughes or Jerome Hughes, yeah. Sorry, Tycho. That's, I was gonna say my opinion is if Johnson wants it, take it. But if he doesn't, yeah. want it, yeah. let it go. Yeah, because yeah. yep. because like the the lure of wearing the black jersey one more time, you know, mm. it's like yeah. But yeah, we 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 we're pretty solid on the halves anyway. Um, what's his name, Dylan Brown? When he's not being an idiot. Um, <laughs> and I kind of <laughs> being silly for I don't even think he should yeah. get picked either for his fucking antics that he, he's been up to mm. that's just my opinion or Nelson <laughs> he's a mug I'm just like nah bro I don't like you anymore <laughs> you he's know a... he smashed Wade's teeth out of his freaking face I'm like nah you're oh, not well yeah yeah he's um I do I do kind of I like the um, those mongrel, 
yeah, those mm. mongrel players, the Kiwis, mm. I always make concessions for the for the for the um for the dogs that mm. are the players that have just got that extra mongrel in them and go out hunting like 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 big um big Jared. Because he was the big dog for a long time, mm-hmm. you know, not just at club level, but at internationals, he'd do the same bullshit. Um, and I've always loved that sort of aggression, eh? So mm. yeah, when we've got Kiwis like that, the what the thing I don't like is when they do it to other Kiwis. It's like, wow, yeah, really, really, bro? Like <laughs> Take it out on all the, the rest of those Aussies. Fuck. Yeah. That's how pisses me off. Oh, money, money talks, bro. If you're on a million, yeah. if you if you're on a million dollar contract, you'll go smash anybody. Mm-hmm. It's true. All That's toxic true. masculinity talks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah good point. <laughs> um, actually, I just want to—I just want to shout out the NRL just real quick, because you know, coming into this, I was like, they're taking over the game day experience, or mm. before that, they're going to go and give it to bloody Eden Park. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling it. Is it Eden Park? Yeah, it's, sorry, sorry, it's called Eden Park. So I just want to shout them out real quick for coming to their senses. Yep. Mm. Whoever was in the back in in the back there convincing them that no, we're we're not taking it. We're not taking it to Mount Eden. Um, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it at the at the spiritual home of rugby league. Mm. So, so massive shout out yeah. to them. And also also want to find out who actually went to Eden Park for the wild yeah. stars. I haven't heard yeah. anything. I haven't yeah. seen any pictures. Nada. Yeah, no, yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Was awesome, I reckon. I thought that was really cool of Mount Eden or whoever. Um, whoever's idea it was to do that, I was just like, man, that's that's, that's dope. An awesome idea. You know? mm. Especially yeah. for families that couldn't get tickets or you know, for whatever reason. And then just to do that, I'm just like, that's that's mean. Yeah, good initiative. The fact yeah, I haven't I'm... seen anything though is a concern. I've seen um you can look on their Facebook page and they've got some photos of people on the out on the field. Oh, oh okay. okay. So you can actually sit on the field. Yeah, yeah they're yep. all on the field. Wow! They have the bags and stuff out there, heaps of bean bags and stuff. <coughs> wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pretty decent turnout, would say. Mm. At least a thousand there. At least a couple of thousand, cool. maybe. Mm. Cool. Okay. Oh no, because I thought it was gonna. I thought everyone had to stay off the field and just they're gonna have section off a stadium side, the seat side, grandstand, whatever. Um, no, no. I'll just share oh, a little. Oh, I'll okay. share a little photo. Yep. So oh, oh wow. Wow, he's up there, and you can sit. It looks like there's a bit of a boundary, and you can just spread out all over here. Yeah, yeah. see, a couple of seats up here. Oh, I think it's an awesome idea. I actually put a post Mm -hmm. up today, say, you know, because game's on at 10 o'clock, obviously, over here. Mm. And how cool would it be if Mount Smart Stadium did the same thing? Yeah, Uh, yeah. it's a bit later, but how cool would it be? That would be like truly under the stars. I reckon <laughs> every stadium around New Zealand should. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I reckon, bro. This pack should do it as well, or Sky, whatever they're called now, Sky's the Cape Tin. And you know what? I wouldn't mind paying five bucks just to go to this. Yeah, huh? you know, just make it like real mm-hmm. cheap. Like this was free, but even if even if it was five bucks for like watching the Broncos game, I'd pay that just to just to cover their costs or whatever. Yeah. Pack it up anyway. Um, hey, uh, guys, I actually no one messaged me back, but I don't even know who's on what. Oh no! Because <laughs> you can roll with it. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna let you just roll with it. Whoever wants to go, you know. Yeah. You can supervise. You can supervise. Yeah. yeah you can be, you can be the assistant. Good. You can be the assistant. Yeah. Assistant DJ. So you just, whoever wants to jump in first, by all means, go hard. I'm just gonna sit because I'm. I really want to hear. Because I hope you've got team stats as well, not just individual, sorry, individual player stats. But yeah, I'm really keen to hear them. I saw a couple on the Warrior Holics um, podcast that we did this morning. Looked pretty dope. So, so I'm we'll really have to check it out. Yeah, we'll have to check the that, that podcast out. Yeah. They yeah, were they were good guys too. They were friendly. Yeah, it's good to talk to, have a yak and stuff. Big shout out to Levon. Big shout mm. out to um, Warriors Anonymous. Big shout out yeah. to Zane. Big Zane, shout out to Brad Ingers. Um, yeah, um, um, you know. Daniel. Daniel, and I think it was his dad. Was yeah. was father in law Ed that was with him. Yeah. Good fellas, you know. Just yeah. happy Down to, to talk and yeah. Big yeah, shout man. out. Big shout out to the CEO of One NZ as well. 
Oh, Speech. yeah, bro. That this was guy. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Big that was him. cool. What a down to earth. Um, JP has told me, said, no, no, my name's JP. And, you know, I'm only, I'm only Jason when, when I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, down to earth, dude. Mm. Big down to earth, dude. All right, I got some stats. Oh, sorry. Okay, go. No, sorry. No, you I'll go. Some stats go. for you, cuz. I'm just going to share it anyway, just to get the visual. I actually felt like it was a little bit more than that, but check this one out. Mm, nice, hey. Yeah. Okay. There was a couple mm. of games where it was up like that, eh, quite regularly. I think it was maybe we had two games in a row. I actually don't, don't quite know this crap, right? But it was actually a few games in a row where we were like, yeah, completions are up. And then I think that's where we started kind of like <laughs> started going down a little bit. We start, yeah. um, it's probably just before the Tigers game. Who was that? Who else was it? Where we started winning ugly. We're still winning, but we just weren't. Mm. We weren't at that. Yeah. At that as well. Um, check out the run meters. Damn. Damn. You know, that's just. Look at the post. Look at the PCM. Yep. That's just horrible. It's a horrible night if you're on the side. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of work. 47 tackle breaks. Just the kick return meters, 228. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, Webby's been saying it. Webby's been saying it all year, right? We just got to win win our battles, win our moments. Um, and the wins will come. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not, it's not major things. He keeps on saying it's not these major things that people think it is. It's it's the little things. Yeah. Because there was just no... It, it, it was like there was just no... Um, like personally, I thought it was almost a perfect game, in my opinion. Close it was, to it. It was pretty close. Yeah, it was. You know, like, I mean, to to snuff a team out in the first fifteen or thirteen, whatever it was. I mean, it was only the last twenty minutes of the first half where it was quite an armory. So, and that wasn't for points. That was just meters, really. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we struggled to make some meters in the back end of the first half, but then after that, it was just. That was like I said earlier. That was all she wrote for the nights, and then it was just all us in the second half, apart from the try that they got in the first whatever it was five minutes. But then we replied pretty much straight away with that. Was it Dylan Walker? The Dylan Walker try? Yeah, was it Dylan Walker? Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. Sticking so, off. Yeah, we he um we smashed into the the uh, mm. the pad on the, the, pad on the yeah. yeah the goalpost. <coughs> and Rocco Berry, what? Look at that fella dragging, you know, three players on top of him, and yeah. and it was just so cool when the when the replay would have been going on, like, and his his ball carrying arm was still up in the air. If, we, if I was there and I saw the ref, I would have been like, "Oh, your face, bro!" <laughs> 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 right, back to the double movement, and if not, can we go back to the the contact over? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like even on review, the, the there wasn't a whole lot of standouts um, for the Knights. Mm -hmm. it, it, a little like us two weeks ago, individuals were trying, yeah. um, but yeah. it was just us. We just dominated. The, yeah. the boys just dominated and and just choked them out. Really, um, well, I think I think Daniel Saifidi was the only one to run over a hundred meters out of the forwards. He was the only wow. one that hundred. <clears throat> Um, I thought Tyson Fazel, but he's he's just a beast. I thought he tried really hard, him and yeah, Daniel yep. Saifidi. But yeah. um, they Frizzell just, does that all the time, fun. though, eh? Yeah, mm. I, I but like when Fazel's playing, yeah, he I, always I steps up. I yeah, he's a competitor. Well, mm. His little brother plays for the Highlanders, eh? Tyson Frizzell. Shannon. Yeah, he's the All Black, eh? Shannon. Yeah, he plays. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yes, yes, he did. Yeah, Shannon Frizzell. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think um the last I'm just thinking of it now. The 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 last um Lawaki Lawaki Sioni Lawaki and his brother, the younger brother, played for the Warriors, and Sioni was um, playing for the Chiefs and became an All Black. You know, so it's a bit of a oh, just a random, just one of those random stats. But yeah, you know, having a brother as an All Black, it's like oh, that's pretty mean, bro. Some talent um, in that family. Harder. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. All right. Well, I'll go first because sure. um, I'm 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 actually 
really pumped about my section. I just want to make sure that I am on interchange. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I say nothing because I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, we talk about interchange all year. You know, we want them to come on, mm. um, change the game, up the tempo. Um, don't do anything too spectacular. Definitely don't score two tries. Right? <laughs> you're not expecting you're not expecting an interchange to come on and score two tries, but like yeah. keep the tempo, uh, make your tackles. Obviously, you know, uh, and try and change the game in some way, right? Mm. So yeah, you know, I mean, collectively, we got two tries out of our out of our interchange. Dylan Walker, I'm gonna start with him. I'd say probably probably his best game for me. Dylan Walker was. Um getting nice. that try. He had he only had 94 run meters. He had 19 post contact, one line break, three tackle breaks, and um seven hit ups. I believe he came on for came on for Tohu, I think. Okay. Okay. No, he no, played 80 minutes, didn't no, he? he played 80 minutes. Yeah, two stunts, one yeah. for 30 minutes. But when he came on the second time, I think he came on as the first receiver. Yeah, he replaced Johnson. He replaced Johnson on the second oh, stunt. Right. I can't remember who, who oh, replaced. Oh. Probably. Oh. Supposedly, we were down to 12 at one point. As they were giving, I told you, they were giving um, Weeby and that shit. <laughs> Last oh, this, this. 12 on. Yeah, I mean, you know, nobody noticed. We're that far ahead. It's like, fuck right. it. <laughs> you know, we don't need oh, that, like, that extra part. We, we, we only have 12 players on the field. Yeah, supposedly. Tohu was giving him shit in the presser, saying, hey, you guys left us with uh, 12 or five minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a mean game by him. Oh, shit. That's a hard case. I... Yeah. Yeah, no, he put up a, he put up a bomb as well where um, Kalen Ponga dropped it. And then yeah, Martin yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, picked yeah. it up. Yeah. Um, and he was out there chirping as well, guys. You could see him. You could see him trying to like, you know, when he when he took over the reins from um from SJ and he was he was screaming was at Surinam nice to give kick, man. That was that a was nice kick. Uh, did you see him screaming at Surinam to give him the ball? <laughs> yeah, no, right. he was just like this. He's like this. He's like, he's like this. <laughs> he had his arms up because um Walker had set, I don't know who it was, he set like Rocco and 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 Shams was obviously back there and he's screaming at him, screaming at him because he wants to obviously, because this is at the side of the field where it's going to go back door then out to Dallin, right? And Surinam didn't ever look at him, bro. Surinam wasn't ever looking at him, bro. He picked up the ball, he yeah, right yeah. left, Mitchie's like this, and he goes in dummies and then he goes under the post, but oh man, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. I, and I felt for Surinam because it was like he scored, but that whole putting his head into the ground and it was just like, yeah, it's a shame, bro. It's, it's a shame you're off kind of thing. Off. I've really, he's I've off. liked him. I've liked him since he's, you yeah. know, but he's owned that, that, um, that bench, the bench position. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh, and when he comes that on. His, that was his best of the season, man. Yeah. He, he fucking was just damaging in his runs, man. I don't know. He snuck his nose through every time he got his hands on the ball. I was just like, mate, like he was, he was, he caused a lot of trouble for the for the knights going up through the middle there. Yeah, he's, he's a good play. defender. He's a good defender. And, um, and he was on defense, but that's what I loved about Sad Day Knights game is that our defense matched our attack. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Didn't yeah. stop off in either department. Like as hard as we went on defense, we went just as hard on our attack as well, and we were just smooth, man. Our ruck speed was. Insane. Mm. Mm. No, yep. Yeah. I mean, just looking at Bailey, right? Yeah, 67 run meters, 15 post contact. This work is interesting. Six tackle breaks, five hit ups. Uh, his his hey. average his average play the ball was 3.1. Wow. One dumb, one dummy half run obviously scores a try. Ah, mm. can hell, you know. Um his 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 yeah, tackle efficiency broke. His tackle efficiency um, 95. 95. But, yeah, I mean we've got yeah. enough cover. And what, yeah. what the what we the uncle's working with for next year? Is, yeah, it's yeah. um. But the kid, the kid was pretty loyal, especially during the COVID years. You yeah. know, he hung around and and stuck it out with the club. And yeah. and, uh, and you know, I, I respect him for that. It's like, no, nah, totally. good on you, bro. Wherever he goes, wherever his next journey is, you know, I hope he, I hope he lands on his feet. Totally. Someone will pick him up. Oh, definitely. Mm, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he, bro. uh, Dylan Walker made twenty six, missed one. Bailey Surin made. 23 miss one. So I go I go both of them eights. 
Mm. Nice, nice, bro. Thanks for that. And I might do the same with Jazz and Joshy, actually. Um, what about Joshy's finger? <laughs> it was like, oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> yeah, so yep. I was like, oh hell, where did it go? Like it's yeah. backwards. Yeah, it was just like, oh, bruh. It did not look comfortable. No. Wow. <clears throat> not at all. Um, looking at Jazz, you know, Jazz. Seven runs, 71 meters, 33 post contacts, only seven hit ups. But you know, he just brings that energy that, would, that, he's, yeah. that he's always bringing, right? 12 tackles, one missed, um, you know, <laughs> 18 minutes. But you know, in those 18 minutes, he was solid. He was solid as Joshy. Joshy, we're looking at Joshy, um, only seven runs, 56 meters, 27 post contact, one tackle break, seven hit ups. Um, so I, I feel like they kind of played a very similar game to. Two missed, oh, 23 tackles, two missed tackles. You know, so I've got, I go both Jazz and Joshy Sevens. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nah, solid as. So, Jazz, I mean, like, Jazz was, um, sorry, bro, Jazz, like, he was just running with a purpose, eh? He was, he was trying to put hurt whoever was in front of him. You know, it was just like, man, love it when he's running like that. You know, he's just like, damn. But Jazz always does, though, eh? He always, yeah. You know, Jazz is oh. that player, eh? That fuck around and find out player. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he brings the pain, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah and um, you know, I think I think Levon said it. I'm just gonna kind of paraphrase what he said. You know, Waza, a big up Waza podcast at the end of the match is like it's the game we've all been waiting for. Mm-hmm. It's that game that we've you know, we've had to wait freaking until until a semi-final to see to see the team, to see the way that kind of Webby's put it all together and with everyone firing, it's that game we've been waiting for it. And yeah. now we've just now we've just seen it, and that's why we were quite speechless because of the domination. And yeah, just, mm. the, way, just the way that we played. Yes. So, so not- like Saturday night, sorry, bro. So Saturday night, well, Saturday night, like just a, is it a one-off? Are Ooh. we going to be good enough? Ooh. You know, Ooh. or is, is this what well, all of us have just been waiting for? And, and is next week just going to be a replay of what they've they've just done? Who knows, brother? Who knows, my brother? Yeah. Well, uh, I've got a little. Ooh. I've got a little thing on that. I think. Um, long story short, I think we might have the game plan for already. I watched Ooh. a few Broncos games, and I'll nice. talk about a few points. Nice, bro. Nice, um, bro. Yeah, because if they can come out like that, like I, I was honestly, and I'm still astounded because I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? You know what I'm like, astounded at that is because we kind of dipped off after that Canberra Raiders game yep. we won by that field goal and after then we yep. kind of dipped our completion rate our position our tackle count kind of you know our tackle efficiency dropped down as well <clears throat> and I think we've been waiting for it's like come on boys you know you've got to mm-hmm. all of a sudden they just come out and they just they clinical just, yeah man like, like I said, it was almost mm-hmm. perfect game and even SJ said it when um when I think he was talking to JT after the game he was like oh you know it was near perfect Mm. And it was, and that's what it looked like too, from a fan's perspective. It looked like an almost perfect game. Like they were just there. They were just there. They were all over the nights, man. Those boys couldn't even catch their breath. Picker, <laughs> So, uh, who's next to jump on it? Yeah, I'll go next if you if you want. Um, I'm on backs. Which I yes. thought was pretty exciting. Looking forward to this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, yeah I reckon. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll start off with uh, number two, Dallin Watini Zalesniak. Uh, he had a nice try assist in Rocco Berry's try. Mm. He scored a nice try himself in the 63rd minute. But he played really solid. Eh? He had some nice takes, nice runs. Uh, stats I've got him down for one try, one try assist, two line breaks, six tackle breaks. 156 wow. total running meters. Come on. 58 post contact meters. Let's go. Uh, one offload, <laughs> three tackles, one missed tackle. So, yeah, Dallin had a solid as game. Uh, I'm giving him a, and I think that seven and a half. might have been that one on Kalen Ponga. Remember, What's that? he turned in on Kalen Ponga, but he and he held on to him for a bit, but then he got away. I'm assuming if that, I'm wondering if that's that one missed tackle was on. Was I would on assume him. so. Mm. Just a solid game from him, though, you know? Mm. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Fuck. Hard. Um, but it was good, too. Like, it wasn't just his normal highlight reel <laughs> stuff. Like, there was some solid hard work in there as well. So, yeah, really nice. impressed with Dylan. 
Anyhow, moving on to Rocco Berry. I thought Rocco Berry probably had the best game of his career. He yeah. had a massive game a few rounds ago, but oh, I just yeah. thought he next to away. Um, yep. yeah, nice runs, one of which resulted in an important Warriors penalty. Uh, scored well-deserved try in the 59th minute, showing strength and determination. Just great defense as well. He was just solid yep. as. Mm. Stats, uh, one try, three tackle breaks, 106 total running meters, 44 post-contact, 17 nice. tackles made, three missed tackles. Yeah, I just would have had a really solid game. So I've given Rocco an 8 out of 10. Boom, sure. Ooh, sure. nice. That's nice, bro. That's nice. Uh, moving on to Adam Pompey, number four. Uh, <laughs> again, solid as game, eh? Mm-hmm. Nice try assist for Marcelo's try in the 12th minute. Nah, nice runs, solid defence. Mm. Just a big turnaround from the last few games. Like mm. He was getting quite a bit of shit for that Penrith game, but nah, he turned it around. Um, mm. Stat-wise, he kicked six out of seven conversions. Mm. Some of those are real hard kicks, so I... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, one yeah. try assist, one tackle break, 143 total running metres. Nice. 52 nice. post-contact metres, 13 tackles made, and only one miss. So, yeah, he was... Adam Pompey <clears throat> yeah, boy. gave him a seven and a half as well. Yeah, boy. Nice. Because Adam was mucking up on um, Gag Eye, and they, um, yep. he pretty much shut him down, bro. You know, yeah, and it's yeah. just like, bro, he, he had his number all night. All night. night. Yeah. Well done on Gag Eye. Like, even his runs. Did you see his runs, though? Mm. Yep. And I was just like... Like, mate, he wasn't easy to stop either. And and we all know how dangerous Gagai is. Yes. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yep. You know, and he was – and that's – I just loved it. I just loved seeing them take it to another level because, like I said last week, you know, they're, they're fucking better than that and they know that. You know, they just, like, bro, play to the best <clears throat> of their ability. Mm. Yep. Absolutely. Know? And I was going to say, with Pompey's um, year coming out, like, you know, Dalen and Montoya are going to chuck themselves into the line. Well, Pompey does, <coughs> doesn't chuck himself into the line. He does a little bit of footwork, and then it's the yeah. contact meters yeah. to get on his front. So, like, that's actually mm-hmm. really hard to do. One thing I wanted to say, and I said in our group chat, because um, we're fortunate to be, um, like, by the 20 or 30, and especially on the first half, um, watching our left side defense, Pompey mm-hmm. talks hard. Like, really? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually really vocal out there, which is, for me, it was surprising it's too. It's interesting. So, yeah. To, Pompey's to, actually quite vocal. To Montoya or to Both Ford? Both to ways. Ford or Mo- Right. So he's telling Montoya to, like, obviously stay with him, but he's also, like, barking inside. So, really? Um, yeah. yeah, he's actually yeah. quite he's quite vocal out there, which for me was like, yeah, like, this is what we yeah. wanted. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't score on that side. So, <laughs> right. That's right. Time. Yeah, so Mark Mark Roberts, if you're watching, I hope you just heard that, okay? God damn it. <laughs> Is that one of your followers? No, one no. One of your no, followers. No, no. Wait, this guy that <laughs> called me out on Facebook, put my name oh. up in the spotlight, so I was like, fucking hell, bro. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Yeah, but, so, I... you, know, you know, just some people that were giving... Um, pumping some a lot of shit, you know. So I'm, mm. I'm glad mm. to hear that Ty. Like it's good to know that mm. he's he's out there leading our boys. So yep, mm. awesome, awesome. Sorry, sorry about that, but yeah, that's awesome to hear like that. Yeah, and I, I think comment like you know some fair criticism throughout the year, but I feel like he's working at it. So for me, that's what you want to mm. see is someone whether yeah. he's looking at the criticism or not. It looks like he's improving his game. So you know, especially at this kind of part of the yeah you know yeah. of the season, it's good to see. What, what a time to make a statement. <laughs> yep. One game Definitely. from the GF. It's just like, holy, bro. I'd rather that than the complete opposite the where week. he's just been shit the whole time. Yeah. You know? he, mm. You're right, bro. He has actually been progressing. I'll say one fucking thing about Saturday <clears throat> that those Broncos will be doing their video reviews, mate. I don't know if they're mm. in the way of training in, but I think it would have flown even the top, the remaining teams. Um, I bet you even they'll be like, whoa, like, fuck. Well, I think the biggest thing the Broncos would be worried about is if fucking Reese makes his tackles. Um, oh, yeah, you know, he, he's a liability, man. And I hope that we, I hope we expose him for it. You know, the, mm-hmm. um, because his insides or whoever, the, the second row, someone's going to be spotting and someone's got to look after that kid because, mm. you know, mm. the, what, the, our, our game plan will be specifically targeted at their weaknesses. And he's, mm. he's, 
he, he might as well be holding a sign. He's like a turnstile. He just, <clears throat> you know, but they'll be going for all. Is he's a good attacking player, like on attack, he's got the speed, he's got those moves with his feet, and he, he can offload that ball, and he's good at setting up his outside backs, but defensively, mm. he's all shit. When you, he's a no-show. He couldn't even catch a cold, you know, like that guy's, you know. <laughs> <he couldn't> even, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I haven't watched a lot of Broncos games this season, but what I have watched of the highlights, and I see him in those lines that he's running, he was running those lines when he was playing <clears> with us. He was, yeah. he was, he was, he was doing the same things when he was playing with us. Or just, but he's just a little more faster now, probably a little more stronger. Um, he's got that, he's got that cutout ball in his locker. Um, mm. I'm just saying that he's good on attack. That's basically what I'm saying. I don't really have a point. But um, what I'm saying is, like he's, 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 yeah. he's running into that line at that speed that he's running at, and when mm. he gets that ball, bro, it's just you're not, you're not touching him. You're not touching this yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's called Grease Lightning for a reason, eh? <laughs> yeah. He's um, but again, he's it's for me, it's more about the players around him. You know, the whole they 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 obviously cover for him. Um, because he's gonna back himself. It's that it's that youth and, and enthusiasm, you know. He's 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 bought half a gap, or he'll create half a gap and he's oh. nine times out of ten, he's gonna shoot it. He's just, he's gonna try it anyway. Even if he gets folded, he's still gonna try it. I guess that, again, because he he usually swings around, he usually comes out the back and swings around, and then <coughs> he'll go out to his wingers or his centers, and that most a lot of the time that's Katoni Stags, or you know yep. he always play out that way. So if our boys mark up properly and wait for him to pop that ball out, and then you know, and just take out his centers and his wingers, I, yeah. I don't know what side Katoni is. He's uh, what he's the left, eh? Yeah, and he's a weapon. You know, yeah, he, he is prone to kind of clocking off at different times, but but for the big games, and this, you know, this is a this is definitely a big game. I think um, Katoni's one of those players that that um, who's who's. I'm not sure if it's Adam or Rocco, but whoever it is, they they're going to be they'll have a handful. They'll mm-hmm. be busy sitting on. It'll be Adam, so their right side is their mm. stronger side. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm. Who's- Who's um oh Barnsworth that's a nice Barnsworth, on the left side. yeah, and he's a good centre. You know, the good Tommy bring, brings brings a lot of confidence the way he runs the ball and stuff. And yeah, yeah. Broncos are stacked with Origin and international players. You know, I think they yeah. fucking all are. Tell me what player in there hasn't played Origin or far out? I think they all have. But I- anyway, I just Jordan Ricky, yeah. Gilly, Annie. Yeah. Yeah. From uh Crusher Che paid for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Hornsby Hornsby Panthers. <clears throat> oh, play for Hornby. Mm. Sure. And Arthur's or if it's coats on the weekend. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Um no. Damien, were you yeah. done, bro? Oh, no, no, I got sorry. one more to go. Just oh, waiting sorry. for the <laughs> Waiting for <laughs> everyone to shut the hell up. We got we got one more player to go. <laughs> he had a pretty big game too. Uh Marcelo Montoya. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. massively improved defense. I loved mm. it when we when he tackled Dominic Young at the <laughs> touch in the ninth minute. <laughs> a beautiful moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he had some nice runs, nice takes. He had an impressive take on a night nice short kickoff attempt. Uh, mm. Just best game in a long, long time, which mm. definitely boosts his confidence. He really strikes me as a confidence player, so I think he'd yep. be riding high coming into this Broncos game. Um, Stat-wise, I've got him down for one try, one line break, five tackle breaks, 156 total running metres, 41 post-contact metres, seven (laughs) tackles made, zero missed tackles. Yeah, man. Nice. And and even the the seven... Oh, nice, bro. But even the seven tackles for a winger, thats I'm pretty sure that's double the amount. Mm. That's um, a lot of tackles, though. Through the season, yeah. So, yeah, he definitely stepped up, bro. Yep. So, yeah. collectively, uh, I thought that was the best game our backs have probably had this season. I've given them an 8 out of 10, collectively. Mm. Nice. Nice, and bro. They, and they, deserve, they definitely deserve, yeah, an 8. But can I just say, what about, Mon- <clears throat> or what about Montoya under those fucking high balls, man? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he makes nice some notes. beautiful catches. I was just like, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, big, <laughs> up, big ups to our left edge, man. Mm. Okay. Don't throw no shade at me, the viewers. Don't throw no shade at me because of what I said <laughs> last week. 
Okay. <laughs> Make me no. eat my words, and I like that. That's exactly. Excuse me. Get over exactly. Here. Those, like, those words taste real good. <laughs> it's exactly it's exactly what I said to uh, Rio in our in our post match interview outside outside the thing. I, I said I said Montoya, we were all talking smack about you last week, and you just mm. shut us all up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just just talking on Montoya. Just only one thing I have to say is that um I think at the start um you will notice that he shut a lot. I mean for some some of those I think he needed to, but once he started trusting his insides, I think that's when the game started changing for them defensively. So mm. you know, like just I just hope that that happens in the weekend when you need a shot, yeah. bro, jam. But other time, just trust that Pompey and other others are going to come over because once he started yeah. doing that, that will mm. go through. Mm. Can I just can I just add to what Ty just said? So what what he just said, what Ty just said, happened on the weekend, but for the Knights. So Maju, Maju came in <coughs> instead of leaving instead of leaving Bradman Best out there uh, inside. Mm. He came in and then it went out to Dallin and you should have seen the look on Bradman Best's face when he turned around and looked at Maju, boy. Ooh. He was just yeah. like, he was like, bro, I had it like, I, I don't know. He just looked at him like, you know, I mean, the game was gone anyway. The game was pretty much mm. gone, but the way that Bradman Best looked at, looked at his winger, bro. Ooh. Yeah, if looks could kill. And gang, I did that to Dom Young too. He he got sucked in, and he once they scored, he looked back at him. So, <laughs> you know, we did yeah. it to them. Let's just hopefully, you know, we go there. Yeah. The Santa Broncos as well. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The rest of those, the rest of those centers. Yeah. Okay, next day. Yeah, bro. Sure. Um, so I'm doing the forwards. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, so you know, again, as a former hooker, for player than forwards. Love playing in the four pack. The wolf pack were on, man. The fuck up wolf pack were on. They um just a defense. Um, you know, Jacko, Tohu, Jacko, even when after when he before he got subbed off and stuff, Barney, Barney was on fucking fire, man. The the, the amount of just tackles he was going through, but he was yeah. and, and not sure if it was because it was his old club, but mm-hmm. uh, and he was getting lined up too, but he was he was dishing it out and 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 Aiden just is Aiden. <laughs> he just gets does he gets on with a uh, scored the easiest of tries, but again it was their light footwork close to the line. Um but yeah, for me, <clears throat> like the wolf pack stepped up and they they were just hunting. They were hunting all night. All five of them actually, you know. Mm-hmm. Usually there's there's three wolves in there that just want to fucking smash someone and deal to them. But nah, all of them, all of them stepped up. So I'll mm-hmm. go from my lower score to the highest. Um <clears throat> And I'm going to start with Marata. Marata. Yeah, he came off injured. I was wondering if that was a bit of a ploy. Because so um... I, I was like, you go off with a knee injury, <laughs> you're writhing around on the ground like, God damn, this hurt. But then, yeah. <laughs> but then you come out of it, you don't walk out, but you run out. And then you go on like, yeah. was that to get a free interchange? Or... Yeah, it was. Or it was. Like... It was shady, man. Because, you know, they helped him off. And I was like, no, nah, he gone. He toast, bro. He's, he's um. He's history, but prior to him going off, he's running his lines and he's punching them. He's punching. He was making those defenders work, and um, yeah, yeah they, they they only held him up a couple of times, and he wasn't. It's not like um he was punching lining like a, the the extra yardage on top wasn't his usual standard, but he was still making them work. So so yeah oh. so, um, <clears throat> uh, he went off went off injured. Uh, took a couple of cement pills and then came back out, you know, and, and just fucking just stuck it to them when he when he got back out there. So, so for me, uh, his stats, Marata's stats, uh, ran for 75, uh, 36 post contact meters, 17 tackles, which isn't bad. That is a bit lowish, but mm, you know, um, and one missed tackle. So wow. yeah, on for 20 minutes. Yeah, on for 20 minutes first half and then 20 and then got to have his little smuggle break. Um <laughs> and 21 minutes the second half. <laughs> so yeah, but for me, uh Murata got a seven out of ten. Nice. But he was dope, man, when he was on. Far yeah. out. He was just, yeah. just like <clears throat> honestly, I was gutted when he went off because just just how he was punching that line, man. I was just like, mm. damn. Far out. And he I hope he's all right for I hope to see him in the team list tomorrow anyway. Because mm. he's pretty destructive. Mm. Yeah. Um, my next two, they've actually, they've, I've scored them the same. Um, but Barney and Aiden, our front rowers, 
Uh, we're just workhorses all night. I mean, yeah, so so Aiden went off. Uh, Aiden was on for the first 29 minutes. Had a, had a break with his mate um, on the side. And then come, didn't come back on till late, late in the second half. Mm-hmm. But and, but the fresh legs he brought back on with him, the mahi he was doing in the first half, like I was saying before, that just uh, the footwork when he, like, like uh, the way he stepped that, um, I'm not even sure who he stepped. Um, but it did. It was, um, wasn't it Tyson, when he went over for that try, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it that was, was a beautiful um, try. Gamble. What's his name? Gamble. Tyson oh, Gamble. okay. Was it that new fella? What's his name? The one that scored the try off the Adam Clune. Lucas. Yeah, Dylan Lucas. Yeah. Um, but, the, but but Aiden, um, Aiden, yeah, Aiden and Barney. Uh, well, Barney was just running lines all night. You know, they just given the that was his mission. You know, it was like his assignment. Just cut the ball up, bro. Um and run out and make them hurt mm. and um yeah bring the pain and that's what he done and then uh he was pulling off a couple of good just low key hits and and I just I yeah I just love watching that stuff. So for me, our front row I kind of scored together. Um and both of them for me got a nine out of ten. Uh, just with their work rates. Yeah. Uh for both of them. Yeah. Just just um I don't want to call them donkeys, but they they just do they do all the donkey work. They and, yep, and like against, you. yeah, mm. you know, they they just they it's keep un, the hammer the, down. The unsung hero type stuff, right? It's the ugly yeah. stuff, you know. It is. Well, it's very much ugly stuff, it's, and it's, it's ugly when you're there. Stuff. Yeah, mm. and they're getting, you know, the the um the knights forwards. They were doing their best to try and contain it, but nah, our boys, our front row boys, were just just right on top of them. Mm. Um, Jacko, Jacko for me. Just hard yards, hard yards all night running, running pretty much the same as as Barney, but um he was he he had some good meterage as well. Oh sorry, sorry, I forgot Barney and Aiden's stats. So Barney's stats ran for 151 meters, 67 post contact, made wow. 21 tackles, 21 tackles, which is a good count. Uh he did miss free, but it's like, you know, <clears throat> it's just a savage side of it. I think you know what, fuck it. Free tackles. Compared to twenty one, <laughs> he's still doing the money. Um, yeah, and he was on for both halves, so they didn't. Barney wasn't out there for the whole game. Um, again, strategies uh, for strategic the whole coming out there to do donkey work and then give him a break and get him back out yeah. second half. Did he have a break? Um, I didn't even yeah. notice. Yeah, no, he was off. Uh, and Aiden, Aiden ran for one hundred and seventeen meters, uh, fifty post contact, sixteen tackles. Again, a little bit low, but you know, but no missed tackles. He was quiet, so like stat wise, he was quiet, like even his meters. But I'm thinking that might have been a part of the game plan, probably to mm. probably. And I think they took him off because he didn't come back on until the 66th minute, I mm. think it was. Yeah, and I it was think late. Maybe it was just to keep him, you know, kind of wrap him in bubble wrap. Kind yep, of yeah, thing. Keep him fresh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so that, that was the boys. That was our... it. Oh, sorry, bro. No, yeah. no, no. Um, that was our front rows stats. The pair of them for me both got nine out of ten, just just for the work rate. Jacko, um, Jacko, yeah, like he he was just running hard at uh, at anyone and everyone. <laughs> I was just loving it. Uh, but him and Frizzell, you know, to say they they came together a couple of times, and um, he just wasn't backing off. Jacko was 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 just looking for it, you know, looking for um, who's up for it, who's up for it, who's going to fold first, and just playing chicken with them, and because mm. he wasn't folding all night, he was just running that ball, um, and I was loving it. I was loving just just watching that, making his tackles, um, you know, getting stuck in, getting do doing the doing the like literally hard yards. A couple of times he got folded, um, got pushed back, but but the the majority <laughs> of the night. He was um he was punching the line and he was punching it hard. What about the Jack- kick though? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's part good. of his. That, that was dive. I was just like, no. Way. <laughs> and it was a beautiful it kick. Really? It just wild. kind of rolled and go, and it's yeah. like, bro, that was bang on, bro. <laughs> yeah, um, I was just like, oh no, you didn't. Yeah, the the the, the kick alone got him half a point. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so his stats, um, Jacko's stats. Ran for 188 meters, uh, 94 post contact. <laughs> so um, you know, <clears throat> yeah, he was working hard. Uh, 45 tackles, which is the better end of that percentage. 
uh, two missed tackles, but um, and, but but played for the duration. He was out there the whole time. Um, mm. So for the whole eighty minutes, that was his his workload. He's just carrying it and just just because um, he was he was. Um, Damien, you're like this one, but he didn't even give away a penalty. Um, hey. you know, he was he was right on top of us. It was the perfect game for a second row. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so for me, Jacko got a ten out of ten. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ten. Hard end, bro. Hard end. Is that yeah, our second? Is that our bro. second ten? Is that our second ten of the year? Second ten. Yep. No third. Just, what? Oh, you were the Can first dance. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. But um, um, he deserved it. I thought he played a brilliant game. Mm. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Um, and the man of the moment. Um, oh. our, our fearless leader. Emphasis on fear. He, like, like that 20 meter run. And I watched the review and I kept rewinding it. He got the ball on the 35 meter line. And they didn't get to him till he was 15 meters out. And it's just like, mm-hmm. and the crowd, like, like when Tohu made that run, the fucking stadium just erupted, man. It was just like. <laughs> Yeah, no, and it was like, bro, yeah, that's bro. Just full on, man. Yeah. Um, but his stats just stay the same. You know, they, they speak volumes for who he is, how he leads his team. Um, and just uh, he's an astute operator. You know, mm. if he was if our if our forward pick were Black Ops team, he's definitely the guy leading it out. You know, he's got the plan already sorted. He's he, you know, he knows how to get in, get out. Nobody knows kind of thing that they've been there. That's Tohu. Um so yeah, his stats ran for 228 meters, and it's like, bro, 200 meters for a front row or, or or last man, just forwards. It's like, holy shit, bro. Um, but 228 meters, uh, 61 post contact, 39 tackles, two missed tackles, but all right there. Uh-huh. But he was out there for the duration the whole time. Him and Jacko played played um the full game. So um, so yeah, so Tohu for me got a 10 out of 10. Well, perfect game. Yeah, what about, perfect another game. ten out of ten. But what yeah. about that? What about the tackle that we noticed, bro? And he 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 ran backwards and he was holding his shoulder, and I was like, Yeah, oh, fuck yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So, come it's on, like, bro. It's like five minutes to go, and he's like oh, holding onto his shoulder. I'm just like, cuz, just get off. Just get him off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if he's got like an avatar that they just rolled out because it's <laughs> <laughs> he's um honestly the the there mustn't be much left to him. <laughs> like, like the way he's just the way he's leading the team um you know and he's the perfect guy to have leading into into next weekend without yeah. getting ahead of ourselves but against us against the broncos you want can't a guy it, who's can't help a captain like that that's just gonna he knows exactly what needs to get done follow me boys and, and yeah, just roll the sleeves up yeah of oh, course cool. so yeah he got it he, uh, he was my second 10 out of 10 Overall, overall average rating for the Fords was nine point five. Jeez, um, okay. for Saturday night. Yeah, I was very impressed. I was very impressed with the boys. Wow, that's wow. me. That's me. Nice one, bro. Nice. Mean. Mean. No, all good. Um, I'm gonna look harsh with my scores then. <laughs> Your scores, bro. Oh man. Your scores, bro. I I say that because I think, um. Maybe besides Tohu, I think we had. Uh, I, I looked after the spine this week, and I think one of them was probably the best player of the game. Or you could probably even say two. So I'm going to start with him, uh, Mr. Chance Nickel Crookstad. Um, yep. One meter under 300 meters for the game. Bro. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, he that's was fucking, everywhere. yeah, that's out there, bro. Exactly. Hey. You know, I think I don't think we've seen these type of numbers since Roger was here in his daily yeah. year. Decent, mm. you know. So one under three hundred, amazing. Eight tackle breaks was the most for the for the team. Mm. Um, obviously had that beautiful try. Uh, managed to gas uh, Bradman Bess. Mm. Um, and you know, I'd like to say credit to the team too. You know, Johnson mm-hmm. holding that ball uh, really well. Um, and I think it was uh, Murata running that line. You know, that mm-hmm. allowed Chance to just do his thing. Mm. Uh, mad returns. You know, really. You know, safe as at the back. Um, and, you know, it's quite interesting. I think the week before, Penrith had a game plan to keep kicking it to Marcelo, especially after they drop ball. They keep kicking it back to Chance, and I was like, fuck it, you yeah, yeah. Like, the bro's yeah. just swallowing it. Like, kick to someone yeah. else. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no, and he was barking at the back too. So, um, I think he had an absolute amazing game. Um, 
I was around. I, honestly, the reason why I can't give a 10 is because I'm like, we haven't won the grand final yet. That's the only reason why I can't give a 10. That's, 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 my, that's just me. So, like, I gave no, her enough, bro. a fair 9. No, nice. Not because she nice. you know, didn't deserve a 10. I'm just like, I just want to make sure that, you know, these guys are watching our scores and feel like, damn, I need to earn that 10. <laughs> um, so, you know. Do they, do they watch our scores? Uh, yeah, man, hard out. They watch it every night. Sure. Study it. Nice. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, I actually think he had an amazing game. Um, oh. I thought he was best player on park, personally. Um, but, yeah, yeah gave Chance a 9 out of 10. Um, I'm going nice. to skip to um, our sixth, uh, Timothy Martin. Um, I wouldn't say he had a mixed game, but I think one of the challenges, obviously, with a dominant half like Johnson, he has to find his spots. Um, so, you know, mm. if he makes a mistake, a half mistake, it looks 10 times worse because, you know, he's not obviously as involved as someone like Johnson. But when mm. you actually look at his stats uh, for the backs, he had the highest tackles. Uh, he had 23. Um, only had a couple runs, but, you know, he's only going to take his chances where he can. Um, he did obviously have that penalty and he had a couple of missed tackles. Um, but he was mm. actually quite... Um, Besides the kind of missed tackles, um, there were some times where those forwards ran at him. He put them on their backs too. Oh, yeah, yeah, know, so it's quite yeah, solid. Um, and yeah. for me, um, I think it's mixed between the centre and the half. Um, I, they're usually the coordinators when it comes to um, <coughs> kind of the back line. And they didn't score down that left side. Um, and I, I do think largely it was Pompey talking down there and Martin was kind of chiming in. Um, but, you know, they didn't score. So... I was actually going a bit of a lower school, but then when I watched the footage back and actually realized some of those stats, um, I thought uh, Timothy Martin deserved the solid seven this week. Oh, sure. Nice. Sure. Um, so we'll go to, I guess, the man with the calf problem or no calf problem at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, well, again, was that a ploy? Because uh, although Webby did say it went right to the wire about mm. if he was going to take the field or not. And I was like, oh, really? Because you've been straight up uncle or what? But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like obviously they took him off a couple of minutes, so maybe they were trying to save as much uh, mm. was it gas and yes. that. Um, but, you know, 630 meters kicking, he's usually kicking, and we missed that last week. Um, mm. So it was good yeah. to see him back there. Um, a lot of them were pinpoint. I think there was all one or two that probably he might have made a different decision in terms of where he kicked it, but a lot of them were where it needed to be. Um, two try assists and just how <laughs> beautiful were they, man. Just just the way that he I, I don't think it's just the 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 way he runs, but it's just the confidence he brings to that line. Everyone mm-hmm. feels like yeah. they can go and run yep. their lines. Yep. Um so that was amazing, those especially those first two. Um yeah, and he looked comfortable out there, you know, didn't miss a beat given that he had that calf. Um, mm. Problem. And he's um, always just calm, eh? Like he doesn't panic. And I don't know if, it, but he just gets right up close to that line, eh? And then just those passes, just mm. those passes out the back, just really engages that line, and then just boom. Just yeah. pinpoint, you know. Yeah. Just yeah. precision. Yeah. Nice, but yeah. yeah, I agree. And he so he digs real deep, and I feel. Mm. Also, everyone knows, you know, um, obviously he's, he's he's a bit older, but, you know, everyone knows he's still got a step on him and can run through that line. So you mm. have to pay attention to him. So mm. he's, they actually have to squeeze on him and it gives the outside back a, a, a split second to, you know, probably get around, which we saw with Chans especially. So, mm. um, yeah, just what Johnson brings, you know, kind of hate to say it, but it's the truth is that, you know, without him, you know, I don't think yeah. we can go as far as we can. But then yeah. the truth is with any of these top, um, four teams, it's the same. You know, you take out Cleary, you'll mm. be scared as a Panthers fan, you know, and you could even mm. say that maybe around Munster and all that too. So, um, yeah, he was amazing. Obviously, he played 73, deserved that standing ovation at the end, and I gave mm-hmm. him, again, I feel like I'm being harsh scores, but Damn, I gave him a solid eight. <laughs> again, not because it was nice. like the craziest game. He did his job right, and again, probably more deserved than nine, but uh, yeah, Tyron's a bit harsh. I'm not giving tens out here. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, no, that was Johnson. And then Wade Egan, um, you know, um, I think our spine's been magical, um, mm. especially especially in the weekend. Um, mm. It probably is a case to say, you know, is it Tim Heidi Martin or is it Luke Metcalf in that six? Mm. Um, you know, we don't have to worry about the wildest. we got a spine here that we can and deal with and go yeah. forward. And I think mm. Wade Egan has been a real key part of that as well. And um, if you especially look at the first three tries, um, those are all Egan's passes to Johnson. And mm. He wasn't yeah. just passing it straight from the ground, uh, except for one of them, I think the second trade did, but all of them um, was him popping out, making sure that he would capture the markers <clears> and the, those kind of first A defenders. 
and then give Johnson that out ball. Um, so, you know, that says a lot in terms of his kind of focus as well um, for the, mm-hmm. the other team. Um, and, and he's drawing that in as well. Um, and defensively, I think besides Tohu, um, he had the second highest tackle with 36. Mm. Um, so, you know, he was out there on D. Nice. But um, besides nice. his passing game, yeah, also he had a lot of little darts out of the out of mm. line here and there. Um, and again, for me, like people were like, oh, what's the point? You only made one meter. But it's like, you're keeping the markers honest. Yeah. yeah. And if yeah. the markers yeah. are That's honest, right. then you're forced to run into, you know, less, less traffic. So mm. Egan was solid as well. Um, and I decided to give him, again, this all sound harsh. I, I decided to give him an eight. Um, this week, oh, I thought nice. it was amazing. Nice, I'm, bro. Nice. Um, and these are consistent with my scores throughout the year, so I've given these guys a sevens and fours. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought he had a real solid game, and mm. yeah, I think on average, I think the backs got an eight. Um, oh, sorry, the spine got an eight, but um, yeah, I, I was loving what the spine were doing just to control their head both on attack and even on defense. Um, mm. Maybe a little bit of questions around our right side, just with you know, a couple of tries, but. Hey, their second trial is a forward pass. Eh? It's probably that way. Like, there's been so many tries scored off forward passes this year. And I, I you know, like, do you think there's, they need to change that rule? My point being that a forward pass is illegal, right? Like, anywhere else on the field, you get pulled up for a forward pass in the play. But yet, when it's in the, tri- when it's in the act of scoring a try, they don't pull it up. I, I really think they need to change that rule because you know do you know what I mean like I think it contradicts the rule altogether then like if you can't if you can throw a pass forward and score a try and it's okay then fuck you should just be allowed to throw forward passes throughout the whole game then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, it doesn't make sense like if you're going to pull like one forward pass then pull them all up mm, like similar yeah. to you know, like rugby's got a different caller they can actually go back and see if that pass was forward um we, you know, used, to. we used to do that when <clears throat> but well i'm sure we used to but i just think it's just taking the piss it's like make up your mind you can't decide when you <clears throat> want to forward pass a forward pass and then not call it yeah well i just remember at the game I, I can't remember exactly what happened before it but i know there was something else that went on and oh i think it was um when they kicked off and Mont- hit Montoya off the chest. Yeah. Of us were like, what the fuck yeah, happened? We're trying yeah, to like, what the hell did they get the ball? And then it led to that um, eventual try. So I feel like my uh, bias warriors mm. <laughs> himself was coming out at the time. When I went and watched <laughs> it, you know, it, it kind of still looked forward. But um, at the same time, I'm like, ah, it wasn't as bad as a call as I remember being in the heat of the moment personally. Mm. Bad call though. If anyone goes watch their Harry Grant fucking drop ball on Friday, oh, that shit was, oh. that was a bad ball. That was yeah. terrible. That yeah. was, I couldn't believe, I was like, Bro, there's no fucking excuse for that at all. That's, I, I don't know if he was honest and said, oh, well, I thought it, his arm was under the ball. It's like, mate, you were fucking two metres away. Like, how did you not? <laughs> so I don't know if it was a biased call or just a blatant wrong call or you're just dumb or blind. I don't know, but there was, there's, there's, yeah, there's no excuses for calling, for blowing, you know, and getting caught actually um, about yeah. our game on sad day. If, whether we win or lose on sad day, I want it to be off the back of the boys' mahi. I don't want it to be down to the referee. Like, mm. you know, yeah. I, I thought Adam G was good <clears throat> on set day, but he didn't have a choice because, mate, you're sitting there with 26,000 Warriors fans. You you, you want to be making the right decisions if you make it to the airport safely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's my concern. I'm just, I was just thinking, you know, if the boys, whether they win or lose on set day, I want it to be on the back of their own mahi. Yeah. I yeah. don't want to be down to the guy blowing the whistle. Mm. Yeah, and it cool. yeah, it was, yeah. It wasn't, no. Yeah, it was a forward pass, but it probably wasn't as bad as that Broncos forward pass to, to Jordan Ricky, where he's he scored that try. Wasn't it? That was, <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. definitely Napier. forward, bro. And Napier. And, no, Napier game. It was the yeah. ref on that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, nice. I was going to say, too, not to sound like a party pooper, mm. but Montoya's try, did his foot go out? Nah. <laughs> I think, I th- honestly, I think. I think it was simultaneous. <laughs> and if it's yeah. simultaneous, then isn't that okay? 
If you mm. put the ball and your foot, like if it's at the same time, isn't that classed as a try? I'm sure. I'll say you're right. I don't I'm think sure it, yeah. it is. If it happens simultaneously, I think it still classes a try. If it's well, simultaneously, sure. you're out. <laughs> bring, up the rules, bring up the rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I think, um, I think, I think the NRL, as much as, as much as we like to bitch and moan about, you know, four passes and that sort of stuff, I. I feel like they've really got the, and a lot of times they've got the balance right in terms of letting the game flow. Because mm. the other game with 15 men in it, they could stop for like 10 minutes just reviewing. Oh, something. man. Well, tell me about it. And we don't want to, we don't, we don't want to get into that. We don't want to get into that. Mm. Oh, we're going to take it back. No, no. Uh, we'll take it back before the pass. Mm. Uh, Keep going, keep going until there's another forward pass somewhere else, and like you're going, bro. Come on. I've got yeah, an yeah. Uh, Lad, I've got an admission to make. I actually watched the Australia and Fiji game today. <laughs> Ooh, how was it? Only because it was Fiji, and I was like, "Come on, man, let's just you know get out there and beat." And they did, and um, it was beautiful too. What they beat? They beat Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. All of these fly Fiji. Damn, seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, those guys. Yeah. I would not. I would be scared even if those Fijian guys played our Warriors. The and Warriors, I'm just being honest, because those really man, are they, mo- are they monsters? Are just, I'm just like, god damn, really? They're monsters, bro. They're big Surely. boys. One of them is ex NRL too. Um, one of the Fijians. Yeah, like uh, are they are they bigger? Are they bigger than Payne Haas? Oh, bro, oh, easy. What? Those forwards are. Yeah, are you man. serious? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris Hover probably bigger than him too. But um, I was gonna say with the refs, I, I kind of agree um in the sense that <clears> as <throat> like to be honest, the refs have everything too bad, and I can't fully blame blame the the ref that's in the middle. There's two others that are watching the game as yeah. well. You know, good point. And to not get that, especially the one on Friday, that was that was annoying. For other ones where they're quite, you know, on the line, you know. Sometimes you're going to get them. Sometimes you're not going to get them. Yeah. But some of the fucking touchies can't even run fast enough anyway to keep up with the ball. <laughs> so even if the ball goes forward, they're still five metres back, so they can't see it. It's like, bro, if you can't keep up, then, or, then I don't know, get some drones in to do it. Or maybe, well, that's the thing. Maybe oh. maybe we put a lot more um, a lot more people in the bunker. You know? More? Yeah. Because they've they've got bloody video and bloody freeze frame technology and everything. Yeah, but oh god, that just I don't know. Like the bunker was only bought out specifically to check tries, you know. Mm. So they should just do that instead of going in and being like, oh no, that was a high tech or whatever. It's just like, bro, oh, just do gotcha. that and, and worry about the the tries. That's what you were bought out to do. So just do that. Don't be ruling on everything else, like. Because you're just taking the power away from the referee. Not that we want him to have any either, but um, <laughs> you know, like what's that? Was it, no, not Adam. That's not Adam. D, is it? Who's that other ref? And lately, he's been getting told in a couple of games. He was told by the bunker, "Oh, yeah, you know this happened." But then he goes back to the bunker and he's like, "No, nah, I don't agree." Mm. And this happened in a couple of you games. Can overrule. Yeah, like he overruled the bunker. He was just like, "No, nah, I'm not happy with that." Wow. And and, but when you see, you know, when you see the bunker and the ref or you know, not agreeing, it's like, well then why do you have them there? If you're gonna call call out your like you're meant to look um you know, like you you can't really contradict each other like that. But yeah, I can't remember what is that ref's name. Um I can't remember. But yeah, a couple of games I've seen him and he's called out the bunker and said, No, I don't agree with that. Um just got a question from Brett. Brent Dunn. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, shout out to you, Brent. Do you guys think the top four should go to Vegas next year instead of teams that came eighth and sixth? Um, Brent, <laughs> yeah. my 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 personal my personal view is it's a waste of time and a waste of money going up to Vegas. It's just a big piss mm. up. Yeah, you know, Sin City, cocaine, and prostitutes. Um, <laughs> casinos. casinos oh. Uh, are the Cowboys going? Because Val Holmes would 
Love that, oh. Dick. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> well, the, bro- the Broncos are, and uh, there's a history there, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's on. right, bro. Yep, yeah, we haven't been right. Fine, like, bro, can you hook me up? But um, yeah, what I, I would say, yeah, yeah, same. I'd rather keep the Warriors at home, keep us out of danger. Mm. But um, also, mm. <laughs> Las Vegas is under a cyber attack at the moment. So, <laughs> I mean, oh. yeah, a lot of the casinos are shut down over there because of cyber attacks. Oh, so. wow. 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 Damn. So, that, that, that adds a, good a whole question. other layer. Good question. Mm. Yeah, good question. I think it's a waste of time taking it there. I'm just like, why, man? Yeah. Like, but it's it's under the guise of we're gonna we're gonna grow the game. Oh. Yeah, it's a national yeah. game, supposedly. Grow the game. Yeah. <laughs> gonna grow the game. They're the, they're, yeah, they're just chasing <laughs> the Benjamins, bro. That's yeah. about it. So bro. you know, the it's All Blacks the, took. Oh, next minute, they have the first game in over there, and you get oh, next minute twenty tickets are sold. Like, well, sure. You know, you just need to look at other sports. So rugby unions are way bigger sport than rugby league, and I understand what they're trying mm-hmm. to do to grow the game. So you know, just let's just let's just be serious for a second. Yeah, but you know, the All Blacks have gone to Chicago for mm. a couple of, couple of times, right? On a yeah, on a you know, I don't know what I want to call it. Um, but that's a bigger brand, man. That's a massive mm. brand. And like I've said this before, if you want to grow the game, why don't you go down to South Australia? Or why don't you go? Why don't you go to Perth? Or why don't you go mm-hmm. somewhere else, right, in your own country and grow the game that way? Well, why don't you come over here and grow the game, right? Mm. It wasn't that long ago that Kiwis played in, in Denver. So why the yeah. need to go back there so yeah, soon? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyway. Um, Nick, before – so I managed to get some head-to-head stats for the Broncos, bro. Let's go, bro. Well, we've been yakking. Right, right. so head-to-head. Uh, we've played the Broncos seven times since 2018. We've won two and drew one. So mm-hmm. our biggest loss was 2018 round six, uh, 27-18 to the Broncos at Mount Smart. So that was the home game for us. And our biggest win was 2022 round four, uh, 20 to six. And uh, that was over at Morton Daly Stadium. Broncos are traditional enemies, in, enemies, enemies mm. right from the start, you know, from the That's day me. one thing, mm. you know, yeah, they are... Uh, they are our mortal enemies, and and yeah. traditionally, it's it's those um you know we've kind of built up those rivalries with other clubs, but it's the Broncos. Like yeah. back in the day, it was always them we were chasing. It took us a long time to get our first win against them too. Yeah. Um, and the best Warriors hits, if you check them out on the the YouTube, are generally us against the Broncos. Uh, Jerome Ropati or Joel Clinton, a back versus a prop knocks them out cold. Um, Francis Smelly on Brent Tate. Just folds them. Brent Tate mm. stepped the wrong way and paid for it. Uh, and Villasanti, Villasanti on Shane Wiki again, Villasanti. just crunched them. Um, but we definitely need a new hit it. list, a new hit list for our the, the current crop of Warriors, mm. just lining up the Broncos and laying them out. So there you go. Well, on that note, my bro, we need to do what we normally do, and we need to <laughs> predict this game because I'm on a high right now. Yeah, same. Um, I'm drinking. I'm drinking the. I'm drinking from the Kool Aid of 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 recency bias and and uh, overconfidence. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go first. Right. All right. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go thirty-two twelve. Was. Well, we're gonna blow okay. these boys. We're gonna cook these horses up. I like that energy. I need some salt. Need some nice. pepper. I'm gonna roast nice. up some horses, but that's me. 32 12. Mm, there you nice. go. I said it. Yeah. Woo! That's mean, bro. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write that shit down, bro. <laughs> oh, so am I, bro. So am I, bro. Oh. I think Adam Reynolds is pretty good. They're all good. Mm. <clears throat> Um, Who's next? <laughs> hard one to pick out a nice shit. Um, I might go. Shit, I, I might. I reckon it might only be a two-point game. Eh? I, what we said last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I mean, yeah, stay at Nets for such a point. I'm like, oh, no. Nah. said last week. That's what everyone said last week. 30 points. Oh. Um, I'm not, I, yeah, no. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just swing around and then come back to me. I'm just going right. to sit here. I'm just going to sit mm-hmm. with it. All right. Um, I'll go next. Mm. Um, just to change things up, I'm going to be an asshole again. Um, <laughs> I'm going uh, 14 to 8 to the Broncos. As much Ooh. as I'd love the Warriors to win, I think the Broncos will do it, sadly. But I still want to say, if that's the case, the Warriors have had a fucking amazing season. Oh, yeah, bro. 1,000. 1,000%, mm. my bro. Mm. Those the Broncos. I'll go next day. Um, yeah. I guess, and, and again, it's a tinge of just a just a touch of reality. The Broncos aren't the Knights, you know. Mm. So um, okay. they finished second for a reason. Yes. Um, so we're gonna fuck them up. Um, mm. Nice. Yeah. Like yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm leaning more towards like what. Um, Nick, Nick's prediction. We, yeah, I'm, I'm back and we win. We're going to win Not. it. I'll say, again, I reckon it's going to be on defense, bro. Mm. I'll go, uh, twenty-eight eight. Nice. We'll lock them out. Ooh. Wow. We'll lock them out. Well, well mine was a lockout. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that's me. Both do you type? Yeah, I'm whenever, like I said before, I, I think we've got a bit of a game plan to potentially do it. Mm. Um, and I might run through what those specifically are. Nice. Um, nice. Hit us, bruh. So I went and watched a bit of their footage, um, especially the games that they had lost. Um, to be honest, the last Broncos loss was against Melbourne and they didn't have their team. So you actually go back pretty far. Um, and, you know, obviously, when I say far, I had to go back down to, I think it was June, the last time they actually had a loss. So we don't know if that, you know, if they've obviously have advanced since that um, time. So mm. I just want to put that out there, that stuff mm. that I looked at might not actually correlate. But um, mm. what I did notice um, is that they love to give their centers one-on-one. Mm. So to what we talked about before, um, our centers are going to have to be on. Mm. Um Obviously, Walsh is electric, and their forwards are young, and 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 they they muscle up, and they showed that in that Storm game, um, yep. as well as Ezra Mam and, and Reynolds connecting well. But I think the three mm-hmm. places where we could potentially win it if we muscle up, and actually limit our errors, and 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 you know have a reasonable uh, completion rate into this. The first one is, um, so you've got Farnworth and all that on the left hand side. Farnworth loves to shut on the fullback. Now, if you look at all the tries that went down the left side, uh, the way that um, they get through, and I went and watched the Knights first. Um, um, Broncos specifically, they don't chuck it to their fullback. They do the skip pass out to the center, and they got them so a couple of times doing that. So I feel like it's it's on the Farnworth shut. Um, if we can mm-hmm. expose that, and we've got Johnson that's done it a lot of times with our back line, if they can actually expose that, there's an opportunity there. The second part is Ezra Mam and Adam Reynolds also in the best of defenders. And what our Warriors love to do is this drop under um, thing with our second rows. And we saw mm-hmm. that in the Manly game when they dropped on the Murata, he just ran straight through and obviously mm-hmm. managed to get around Garrick. So again, there's another place to expose him, especially on oh. our attack. And then the third thing is that their back line, uh, their back three, um, they're sometimes out of position. Um, Storm kind of exposed it a little bit, even though they've got they got our muscled. Um, but it's it's our it's our kicking and turning them behind. So actually, mm-hmm. when the Storm got behind them and got in the into attacking kicks and got them down there in their own half, uh, they were able to get some balling actually get down there. So for me, those are the three areas that if we can muscle up errors, completion rate, like do all the basics first. We can't worry about mm-hmm. everything else. You can do those mm-hmm. basic first. Those are the three weaknesses I personally saw. And I think we have the game plan because A, Sean Johnson loves to throw those cutout balls when it makes sense. Um, also, secondly, uh, oh, actually on top of that, Chance had a good game, so I think they'll be watching Chance a bit. So if they can actually get out to the centers, mm-hmm. it might be a different game. Secondly, um, if we can actually do their drop under, and if it's not the second row going through, it's either Johnson have a fakey or giving off to Chance and he going through. And the third, if we can keep turning them around on the kicks um, and, and apply pressure and wait for them to pop, I think there's an opportunity. So I actually think we have a game plan. And I think 
back mm. to the Panthers. We hadn't seen anything to say that we could beat the Panthers. I actually think we've seen enough to potentially beat the Broncos. So I was wondering if I'm going to bet on their head and heart, but actually my head and heart are in the same alignment, and I think the Warriors nice. are seen this week. Nice. And I'm actually going for the Warriors to actually get up, and I'm going for a score 16-24 to the Warriors. Yeesh. Um, so just to recap, Nick yeah. 3 2 12, Damien 14 8 to Broncos, uh, Rio 28 8, and uh, Ty 16 12. And the lady of the day, the lady of the night, it goes over to Tanya with her, 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 her thoughts. Mm. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think there'll be heaps of points, like heaps of tries scored in this game, eh? If if both sides, both defensive sides, can <clears throat> hold up, um, yeah, I've no shit. It's a really hard one, eh? Yeah. It is, man. Hmm. Oh, there he goes. Damn, I might go even. Shit, it might be the same as last week. Oh. I don't know. 22 18. Oof. Nice. It's a worry. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, I like to stress here yeah, this isn't the Knights. They had a couple of players out, True. Jackson Ace, mm. especially True. one. So this is mm. going to be a step up. But if we can mm. muscle them, like we can stick with them. Have our mm. errors down, penalties down, and our completion rate right. That's the foundation for us. If that all is yep. all good, I think we have the game plan. But if that's mm. not, if that's out the, if that's out the door, oh, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I agree, bro. Yeah, we have to be, Sorry. we have to be fast in our rack, eh? Because I think it was the Melbourne and Brisbane game, I, and I think we like the uh, Brisbane's rock speeds just. Like they're really fast, and and of yep. course, I mean they've got so many young players in their squad as well. But so I think that's my concern. Um, mm. Once again, it, it's I'm always concerned about our backs. Like I, I'm not, I'm never concerned really about our forwards because they just uh. go out there and they muscle up mean, you know. Mm. And mm. They've proved it. they even proved it against Penrith, our mm. forwards. But, well, I that's my personal opinion. I think they did, um, despite what the scoreline says. Um, but yeah, you're right, Ty. I think if we can, you yeah, just dominate, man. And I, I think our forwards can do that. And when you know when our forwards do that, we just play off the back of them. Mm. Get Johnson Before, nice and up into that line. But how we want to shut down Reese is exactly what they're going to be thinking about SJ. Mm. You know, so they're going to come firing out of that line every time he, especially on the last player, he can just to put him under immense pressure. But um, yeah. Definitely got a fuck. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Mind you, before you before know, I forget like, to ask. Sorry, no, before, like, before I forget to ask, what happened to the New South Wales Cup team? Did the boys win? Lost. Nah, no, no, gone. So, oh, is that it? Is that their season? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not Barrington. Oh, not Barrington Bears. Oh. I think it was thirty-two. Was Sydney it thirty-two? Bears. 12? 12, I think it was. 28 24. They came back and oh, just lost it. North Sydney to the North Sydney Bears. North yeah. Sydney Bears. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some big boys, though, man. I was like, damn. That's some big boys in there. <laughs> they had a good season, too. They had a good season. season, you know. It's always next year. Totally. That's what I was usually saying like two weeks ago. It's always next year. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, I so, say. We'll do better next yeah. year. <laughs> well, uh, even, even in yeah, yeah, yeah. Game, you know, a lot of the greats, even I think it was Andrew Johns, even Billy Slater, um, you know, a lot of them are giving us, giving the boys big ups and reckon we can, they actually, was, they were saying, oh. you know, I, I think the Warriors can get the win over Brisbane. Yep. <laughs> thing that worries me, and I said this at the, the game against the Panthers, is, is the officials. Like, the home game for for the Broncos at, at, Mount, at um, Suncorp, and like, if you're on social media and you check out all the, the sports media, the NRL, the nine, nine years and all that shit, everyone is calling for a Penrith and Broncos grand final. Mm-hmm. And when you've got that many fans, 
screaming out for that, you know, and that, and that's what I'm worried about. That's why I said I hope if the boys win or lose that, whether that we do so on the back of our own hard money, mm. um, and not not because of any bias calls. So mm. that's my concern for the game. It's not really is it, just that. <clears throat> It's going to be so a I good game. Blind, yeah, okay. the whole Mr. Blind Eyes can't see Harry Grant drop the ball. He is the official, I'm assuming, for the for the. Oh no, I think Adam G might be doing us again this week. So Ashley Klein's apparently True. being stood down. Oh, is he? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah wow. kind of got NRL 360 on the TV at the moment, and it looks like the NRL is going to overlook Klein for the preliminary finals because of that. Oh, knockout. wow. Is he? Oh, that's so, good. Oh, man. Good job. Well, that's a kick in the ass for this time of the year, though. You know, it's like, damn. No, Played the whole, not, riffing the whole season and stuck it up at the end. Fucking dog, bro. That's what you get paid for. You can't, mm. and you can't use that excuse to say, oh, refs make mistakes. Well, bro, I'm sorry to say it, but refs can't afford to make mistakes because you're, you're actually fucking around with people's lives here. Like, you know, wins count. Penalties count, like especially if people are gonna if teams are gonna get tries off the back of of them not calling the play right. Unless they're getting back door payments. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, you're getting little envelopes put in the in the fucking mailbox Like in the Newcastle Warriors game on Saturday, did you hear it when I think there was a penalty or something happened, and, and I heard the wolf say to Kaylin, look, I know it's loud. I know it's loud and you can't hear, but you're just going to have to figure out another way to communicate. Mm-hmm. So, so I think the Ponga must say, bro, I can't, like, when you're blowing, or when you're blowing your whistle, or when you're saying, like, we can't hear you, and the rest is like, well, fuck. Oh, oh. I know it's loud. Should have handed him a tissue away. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, here's a tissue. Mm. <laughs> Game on, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Well, I think even Tohu said it after the game, he was like, you know, we at times we couldn't hear, we couldn't hear the calls. So we had to, you know, we had to find a way to communicate. I'm sure one of the boys said it um, post match that, yeah, it was really hard to hear. So they had to figure out another way to um, make their calls and, and just communicate with each other out there maybe maybe that's an advantage because obviously Suncorp's a lot massive so maybe the boys have had mm. some chances to communicate differently in the weekend if it's the mm. speak real then speak in learning, language. learning, language. learning sign language, language. They, can't, they can't understand you either yeah <laughs> try <laughs> get to the fucking line yeah <laughs> <laughs> I reckon no, it's going to be a good be, game. It's going to be a mean no, game. I'm, yeah. it's, it's be, yeah. I'm not. I'm not for some reason. Mm. Man. Like, whatever happens, happens. I, I reckon, mm. you know, yeah. we're the underdogs. Same. Um, Same they've got bro. the home, home field advantage. Mm. You know, whatever happens, happens. The pressure's on them. The pressure's actually mm. on us. Yeah. Yeah. The pressure's on those guys to perform because they're supposed yeah. to be the big, the big Broncos at Suncorp Stadium with a 50,000, 60,000 stadium. I think it's 50 or 60. I can't remember. Probably 80. Mm. Who knows? So the pressure's on those guys. We don't have any pressure. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're in a position that everyone thought we weren't going to be in. So we've got nothing yeah. to lose. Yeah. Um, exactly, bro. Yeah. So we just need to go play our game and and come away. What did I say? 32, 32, 12. 32, 12. Simple. Even, even one I'll point. Like I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be stoked with a uh, um, point margin like that. But yeah, even by one point, two points. Yeah. Icing it. Icing it. But... um. Nah, Fano, Fano, Fano. Mm. Awesome court at all. Um, probably one of my favorites. Like always. Probably, probably one of my favorites because we had such a such an awesome game on Saturday. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to wrap it up now, Fano. Um, any closing, any closing thoughts in there? Any closing words? Show the fucking Warriors. Yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. fucking Warriors. <laughs> I, I, actually, I have a good confession too. I was saying that shit all the way up to Auckland. You know, <laughs> up, the, up the fucking wires, baby. You know, because everyone, you know, it, it's like it's like Sir Peter Leach was saying, you can't swim against the tide, you know, and it's just like, <laughs> as soon as I seen him do it, it was just like, wow, really, bro? It's like, oh, up the fucking wires. <laughs> yep, you're yeah, saying go it. the was, fucking wires. You were saying it at the stadium the as well, so. Warriors. Yeah, yeah, bro. Warriors all day, baby. Warriors all day. All day. So maybe, all right. maybe I'll switch right. over to Let's Go on Warriors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring it back, bro. Bring we'll it switch, back. We'll switch it around, but now, nah, I know, I know, love, love the court at all. 
All right. uh, skip the quarter or going during the week. Any any breaking news or anything? Let us know. And um, mm. let's go, Warriors. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Warriors all day. Who are you? Yeah, nice, bro. Okay, Kaki Dip. Kaki Dip. Kaki Dip. Thank you. All right.